as we all trust the Lord to come in a mighty way, in a special way. It starts off with the declaration. It's about God moving. So if we must see revival and the revival that will continue, we better cling, 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 so that new life can be new life.
continue in that same spirit of praise. Today we are dancing for the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, Apunak to Kama it in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 You know, I was watching Moses and Amram was like 80 years old. And then the wife was telling him, you know you are still young. Yeah. And I'm at 80, you are still young. I think we are young in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So let us dance and to him as if we sing this song because he's our rock and our salvation. Amen. Amen. Mwamba, mwamba. opportunity once again to share uh, the Word of God. Uh, my name is uh, James Musiga. I oversight the uh, Crisco work in Embakazi, and it is my pleasure to be with you uh, this uh, day as we share the Word of the Lord together. Uh, let's pray before we begin. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you uh, for this opportunity that you have given us. Uh, to meet together again and just to share uh, the oracles and the mysteries of the kingdom of God and to share your thoughts, oh Father Lord, that we may lift each other up, oh God. And so I pray for your uh, presence. I pray for your anointing and grace upon, oh God, your children and your people who are watching me, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, and praying that you may impact us together, O oh God, with your word in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh King of glory, that we shall not be the same. We shall be lifted, O oh God, from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh King of kings. And so we thank you that in the sharing of the word and in the breaking of this bread, Lord, you shall reveal yourself. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Uh, the last time we shared, uh, we threw some light uh, on the uh, grace that the Lord has lavished upon us. And we saw what grace has given us, uh, the grace of God, which is so abundant and which we have freely received uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, and we looked at that, and we saw the impact of the Word, and what the Word is able to do in our lives. And we also saw that uh, uh, salvation rests on the words. Uh, our salvation rests on the words the Lord has given us, and the difference uh, between eternal damnation and eternal life are simply words. And because with words, a kingdom can be built. And with words, a kingdom also can be destroyed. Uh, and we want to thank God that there is this invisible kingdom to which we belong. And this kingdom uh, is built by the words that the Lord has given us. And the more gravity 
we give to those words, the more attention we pay to those words, the closer shall we be to our God who said, if you draw nearer to me, I will draw uh, also nearer to you. And so we want to thank God uh, for uh, those precious promises that he has given us uh, that, you know, uh, you know, shall not pass away, but it, they will bring to pass what that which our Father intended them to bring to pass. And so our subject was resting on the finished work of the cross. The Lord has done a work, and the Lord has finished the work. And when he finished it, he said, it is finished. And when it was finished, everything that it could ever do to uh, bring us redemption, to reconcile us to the Father, it was all done. Because through his crucifixion, death, burial, and resurrection, he has accomplished for us everything. And ours now is to enter into the work that he has already done, into the work that he has already accomplished. And so uh, the Lord has packaged our salvation in his son. So his son bore the brunt of the punishment that was due to us because of the mercy of the Father. You know, uh, mercy is us not getting what we deserve. And his grace is actually receiving, you know, is undeserved favor. In, in, instead of getting the punishment, we receive the favor of God instead. And this favor is so, is so precious, is so amazing. So in this season, we are partakers of God's favor. We are the favored people of God, not because of anything that we did, but it is just because of who our Father is. That is his nature. And so the Lord has packaged our salvation in his son. Uh, one time I was traveling and, uh, with my wife and we were coming from Kisumu to Nairobi and we were wondering uh, where the bus uh, was that we were going to take and as we were inquiring this in the hotel where we were taking our breakfast, uh, the, somebody told us, but the driver of that bus is sitting there. He was also eating something. And uh, so we were at peace because we were with the driver of the bus. Uh, so we didn't have to worry. Uh, it is the same now. Uh, once we are with the Lord and we are abiding in him, we shall be sure, we shall be sure that we are going to be on the right path. We do not want to miss the son because the Bible says, he who has the son has life, but he who does not uh, does not have life. So uh, he has promised to perfect that which concerns us in Psalms 138 and verse 8. I will perfect that which concerns you. Uh, can you imagine your father telling you, I will perfect that which concerns you because it is, it is him who began that good work. And he has told us, now I will sustain it and I will finish it because he is the author and he is the finisher. Okay? And so he says, I will bring it to completion and I will perfect that which I have begun uh, to do in your life. So ours is only to, to reduce as he increases in our lives. As John the Baptist said, and I will decrease so that he may increase. Uh, we want to decrease so that he may increase because I believe to the degree to which we decrease is proportional to the degree to which he will increase in us. So we want to give him his right place in our lives because he has ransomed us and he has purchased us. We are actually not our own. And so salvation belongs to God. As uh, Psalms tells us, David tells us in Psalms 3.8 that salvation belongs to God. It is him who has packaged it. It is his it, who is the author of it. And it is he who has got the blueprint for us to walk in as we walk into 
the promises of God. And so that will take us to uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 18, uh, verses 1 to 6. And Jeremiah was led into the uh, potter's house. And the word of the Lord says, uh, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, uh, saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter, says the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in mine hand, O house of Israel. Oh, what a marvelous, marvelous pot. There, the Lord is telling us that uh, as that uh, as that pot was marred in the in, in, in the hands of the potter, so are we not in his hands. Uh, that touches on the wheel, that touches on our wheel. Uh, can you not just surrender yourself to me so that I may, although he, the Lord was speaking to Israel in that uh, on that occasion, uh, but we can bring that thought and uh, into our own situations uh, because also we also struggle with the Lord. One time the Lord wants you to move in a certain direction and you also want to move in your own direction and you know there is that wrestling. There is always a wrestling and that is why we have to die daily. As Paul said, I die daily. Uh, we want to come to a place where the Lord has the preeminence in our lives so that we do not have to weary the Lord, to weary the Lord. But when the Lord uh, turns us, we want to uh, be a broken-hearted people who will hearken, who will hearken to the voice of the Lord, to the move of the Lord, and to be where he is working in us, in, in, in our lives. And so we want to thank God uh, that he is at work in our lives. Yeah, if he was not at work in our lives, he would not say, I am the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the originator and the perfecter of our faith. And the perfecter of our faith is already perfect. He is already perfect and he has got good plan and he has got good intentions and he has got intended destinies for each one of us. Uh, sometimes the path on which we are is not the path that the Lord intended for us from the foundation of the world. But we are walking on a certain path, on a certain trajectory. But the Lord wants to realign us. The Lord wants to reposition us so that we may align with his purposes, so that we may align with his will. And sometimes it can be painful because we can be called to do something that is Painful. We remember that Jesus Christ, when he was on the garden of Gethsemane, and he was crying to the Father, Oh, my Father, if it were possible, uh, can you let this cup pass away from me? Nevertheless, not your will, but uh, not my will, but your will be done. And so it is the will of the Father. Let us release our wills to the Father. Let us surrender to the Father so that he may have his free course in our lives and in the course of our lives. In Romans 9 and 20, the same thought is amplified. Uh, it says, but indeed, O oh man, who are you to reply against God? Uh, will the thing formed say to him who formed it, why have you made me like this? Does not the potter have power over the clay for the same lump to make one vessel for honor and another for dishonor. Yes, uh, because we know that in the, in the Lord's house, there are, there are vessels of honor and there are also vessels of dishonor. But the Lord says, uh, when we sanctify ourselves, when we purify ourselves, both vessels of honor and both vessels of dishonor, the Lord 
will use them because they will be worthy uh, to use in the house of the Lord. And so we want to thank God because he is the designer, he is the architect, and he is the builder. You know, he is the master builder. You know, he knows exactly what is good for us, and he knows exactly what is not good for us. We do not want to come to the end of our lives, and on that day, the Lord tells us, I did not know you. That is the worst disaster. That is the worst thing that will ever and can ever happen to anybody. When we come to a point where there is no other way, there is no other route, ah, and the Lord says, I did not know you, you workers of iniquity. May we not come to that. And now we still have a window. There is still a window. There's a window of repentance. There is a window of change. We can allow the Lord to change our direction. We can release our will to him. We can surrender all to him because uh, I can almost assure you in 200 years time, none of you watching me now will be alive. But we shall be uh, somewhere. Because the, the, the word says, it is appointed unto man once to die and then judgment. We do not want to come to a place where we say, Lord, I did not know. Uh, because uh, the word of the Lord is here now. It is near us. It is in our mouth. It is here. And let us just hearken now to what the Lord is speaking. Uh, because he says in... Uh, uh, Psalm 3 and 8, uh, salvation belongs to God. And we want to thank God because he has got the best plan for us. As he tells us in Jeremiah uh, chapter 29 and verse 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. There is nobody else who has got that kind of audacity to speak with that kind of authority concerning our destiny except the Lord our God who knows uh, even what is going to come after this life. And so we want to thank God for this precious uh, opportunity he has given us to align ourselves with his word and to be repositioned. Repositioning is important. Realignment is important. And so that we uh, as, as the psalmist says in, in Psalms uh, 23, Lord, lead me into the path of righteousness for your name's sake. So may the Lord realign us. May the Lord redirect us or, and just make us walk in the center of his will for us. So this is our prayer and this is our desire that we may be with the Lord where he is, sitting at his feet and waiting on him and hearing his voice and being led by him, being directed by him and being just, you know, uh, uh, directed to go into the path that he wants us to go. This is our prayer. And so as we come to the end of this sharing, I just want to pray with us that the Lord uh, may lead us in his own path. For his own name's sake, in Jesus' name. So let's pray together, uh, my friends. Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you once again for my brethren. I want to thank you because you are the Alpha and you are the Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end. You know the end even from the beginning, oh my God. And we want to thank you for the precious words of life that you've given to us, of which Simon Peter said, Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Lord, we pray that our hearts be filled with the words of life, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh King of glory, that, Lord, as your word says, that out, O oh God, of, of the heart, oh God, are the issues of life, and out of his abundance the mouth speaks. Lord, our hearts will be so filled by your words that when we open our mouth, we shall just be pouring out your oracles in Jesus' name. And so, Father, we pray for a divine redirection, a divine 
uh, uh, repositioning, oh my God, that we may not be found to be wanting, oh God, but we shall be, oh God, found worthy of the Lord. Worthy, oh my God, to be called your sons and your daughters, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And so may your name be glorified. May your name be exalted uh, even in our lives, oh my God, that we shall not bring any reproach to your name, but we shall glorify your name in every good work. Jehovah, this is our prayer. Jehovah, this is our desire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. So may the Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Till we meet again. Amen.